How do you lose to the... <laughs> Two. Eluding pressure and going deep down the sideline. He has a man open. He's got it. Ten, five, and pushed out of bounds is Matt Holland. One for two today on fourth down. Four man rush. Cam in trouble. Down he goes. And the Washington defense ends the story. Of Cam Newton to Cam Taylor in for another touchdown. Five, it's a one yard run. The dynamic Jonathan Taylor looking for Baker Mayfield. Now he runs it straight ahead. Landry to the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Three, eight. As he gets vertical right through there and he gets dropped in coverage just for all. Joseph to win it. He's got it. Vikings a winner. Oh, you're in the red zone. See if they can do it again. They hand it off. It's Freeman, and he's across for the touchdown. What a drive by Baltimore. Give it to Mixon. Matchup, right? How are you going to guard Zach Ertz? Next time. And what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the NFL. We got the Week 11 recap. Uh, a lot of games to do. It's going to be really fun. Uh, a lot of upsets for another straight week. So, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Let's get right into it. Okay, first game we're doing, Ravens came, uh, came into Chicago and won. Yeah, with a backup quarterback, too. T uh, T Tyler Huntley, uh, 26 to 36, 219 in interception. Wasn't very good, but got it done at the end of the game. Final score was 16-13. Devontae Freeman had a game-winning touchdown. Yeah, it wasn't great, but came through in the end. Uh, Ravens go to seven and three. Uh, bounce back after an embarrassing loss. Bears fall to three and seven, lose their fifth straight. Mark Andrews was really good. Other than that, they really didn't get anyone <laughs> involved at all. Uh, so yeah, but. Their offense wasn't great. Let me put it that way. Their offense was not very good at all. Offense was not good at all. Yeah, like I said, for them, run the ball visually, execute screens, projection. They didn't really do a ton of screens. Their offense, I'll give them an underscore. They came through in the end, but they were not good at all. Their defense gave up two touchdowns. They weren't good, but they weren't bad. They had two sacks. Uh, wait, one. Yeah, they had three sacks. They didn't have a turnover. They did stop the run pretty well. I'll give them an underscore. They did give up some big plays. That's about it, though. They gave up two big plays. They would have gotten a plus because they did play good other than that. But they were in, the, the Ravens had a decent game. Let me put it that way. And it don't like came in. And yeah, he just threw bombs. He was 11-23, 201 yards and two touchdowns. Justin Fields wasn't great. Uh, David Montgomery, yeah, you look at his numbers. They only gave him 14 carries. It didn't seem like they ran the ball that much. Partly because they were stack stacking the box, but um, uh, Darnell Mooney, Marquise Goodwin had two big touchdowns, so that's part of the reason that this game was even that close. Bears offense, I'll give an underscore. They did they did good enough for them to win. They just were really inconsistent, but they did have some big plays, which you're not used to seeing from this offense, so you get, kind of have to give them a decent grade. Their defense though had six sacks in the interception. They were really good. Gotta give them a plus, like. 
you can't really play any better than that defensively. They did give up a couple of big plays, but, like, not humongous plays, but they did, like, get some back-breaking plays, but they had a really good game. Robert Quinn had his best game of the season by a mile, maybe in his career. He was nuts. They had some big games from guys like Roquan Smith who did give up some catches, but they did play a really good game defensively, so I'll give them that. They just didn't do enough to win. Okay, next game we're doing, uh, this game was really good. Packers-Vikings. So, yeah, uh, Vikings came away with a huge win. Huge win. Uh, pa uh, they won 34-31 on a game-winning kick. Packers fall 8-3. They gotta play the Rams in an America's Game of the Week next week on. And the Vikings go to 5-5. Five five. Huge win for them. Either way, for the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, 23 of 33, 285, four touchdowns. Uh, they didn't really run the ball a lot. As a result, you can see what happened. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was in excruciating pain, and he still worked through it. Demonte Adams had a big game. Same with Marcus Valdez. Can get a 75-yard touchdown to tie the game up? Their offense was really good. I said, run the ball efficiently, A.J. Dillon. They did, but they only gave 11 carries. So I get that. Uh, played actually their other receivers. Bam, they did that. Their offense, good enough for them to win. They played awesome. Their defense was awful. Yeah, they had some picks taken away, but they were really bad. Like, they were getting burned. Yeah, um, uh, Preston Smith had two sacks, but they were not good at all. They gave up 34. They just didn't, they, it's, you can't, you can't win that way. Vikings, though, uh, Kirk, he had, two, he had, like, four passes that could have been picked off, but other than that, he was really good. 24 of 35, 341, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, Dalvin Cook, 22 for 86, going to be a PLT at 3.9 per carry touchdown. J Justin Jefferson, 8 for 169, two touchdowns. Adam Thielen, 8 for 82 and a touchdown. They weren't bad, I would I say. I said for them, 40 plus minutes possession. They didn't do that, but they actually had a lot of possession time. Run the ball efficiently. They didn't really do that one. Get the ball out of screens on it. Uh, Dalvin Cook, they tried, but a lot of that was blown up. Their offense gets a plus, though. Uh, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen were phenomenal. They had a good, really good game offensively, so I will give them the plus. Yeah, they didn't do a ton well with uh, Dalvin Cook, but they did get the job done. Their defense had two sacks. I wouldn't say they were terrible. Hold the offense under 20 points. They didn't, weren't, they didn't do that. I have to give them a minus. They did get torched, but I got to admit, they didn't play as bad as I thought they would have. But they did, they did do well enough for them to win when you really put everything else in hindsight. But I really wish they played a little better. Okay, next game, Colts Bills. Uh, this game was um, Jonathan Taylor. That's basically all I have to say. He had five total touchdowns. Yeah, when Carson went to his 11 for 20, 106 yards touchdown, you know you just ran the ball. Yeah, Jonathan Taylor, 50, 32, 185, four touchdowns. He had a receiving touchdown too. Five total touchdowns. Um, I will, I did not suggest giving a running back 32 carries any games for many reasons, but. It did, he was going off, so I have to give him what they did. Carson Wentz didn't really have to make any stupid decisions. Their offense obviously gets plus. They ran the ball for over 200 yards. I really don't know what to say, but John and Taylor had a heck of a game. Defense, uh, they were elite. They stopped the run. They got three interceptions. They, they got a sack. They were awesome. Woody Pay had one big play, and that was just about it. Their, their defense did force turnover. They pressured Allen. They get a plus. Their defense was elite. Their Bills offense wasn't was pretty much doo-doo. 21 of 35, 209, two touchdowns, two picks. They were not good. They ran the ball, let's see. Five, two, six. They ran the ball 13 times. You're not gonna win. Um Stav where Stavon uh Stavon Diggs had four for 23, two touchdowns. Yeah, two touchdowns, but other than that, he didn't really do much. Oh yeah, their their offense gets a minus. They were really bad. Uh, but then for the def for the defense, pretty simple. You can't stop star running backs. That's the Bills' weakness in the defense. You play a star running back, they get torched. They it happened to them twice. They lost Derrick Henry and they've lost to uh, um uh Jonathan Taylor. Either way, Colts get their uh third straight win. Uh, they go to four. They I mean third straight win. They, uh, go to 6-5. and five. Bills lose, uh, what is it? They've lost, yeah, they've lost three out of their, uh, lose their third out of their last five. Uh, Colts won 41-15 and an absolute snob man.
Next game, Lions Browns. This game was just boring. Ugh. There were three touchdowns in this game. Like, you can't really say anything good about that. Really, you can't. Okay. Yeah, this game was just straight up boring. Uh, kind of like Thanksgiving, but either way, Tim Boyle was, um, he wasn't awful. Just the fact that he threw, like, 13 checkdowns to TJ Hawkinson, and all of them were, a couple of them were picked off. He wasn't awful. He just didn't throw any ball over 10 yards. Yeah, he was 15 of 23, 77 yards, two picks. Not great. DeAndre Swift got 14 carries. He went for 136 and a touchdown. That's why they have 10 points. He should have got shut out. Uh, their offense was putrid. Other than the fact that they did run the ball. Officially, so I have to come and underscore. Like, th these numbers are just crazy. Well, 7 for 11 was Jamal Williams isn't good. Defensively, though, they had, um, one sack, two picks. They weren't bad. I'll give them an underscore. Yeah, like, they played a heck of a game. They get a plus. They weren't good, but they weren't, like, they played, they only gave 13 points. I gotta give them what they deserve. Baker was terrible, 15, not 29, 176 touchdowns, two picks. Those aren't, like, those look like bad numbers, but they were, he was really bad, like, awful. For a couple reasons, but he just wasn't good. They ran the ball over 30 times, and they won. Like, their offense gets an underscore. Like, Baker was really bad, but they did, they just weren't great. 22 of 130 for Nick Chubb. Like, that's really good numbers. But... They did have some big stops by the Lions. Like, they couldn't throw the ball. That's their problem. Defensively, JOK uh, was, like, non-existent. It felt like he had a couple tackles, but he just felt like that. Their defense, though, they got a plus. They were really good. Uh, yeah, they couldn't stop the run. You know what? I'll give them another score. They couldn't stop the run. That's why. Other than that, though, they were pretty good. This is just a bad game overall. Okay, next game, Washington Panthers. Wash, uh, Washington, uh, spoiled Cam Newton's return. Uh, 27-21 they won. Pa uh, Washington wins their, uh, second straight, and, uh, Panthers fall to 5-6. and six. Uh, Taylor Heineke had a good game, 16 of 22, 206, three touchdowns. Uh, Antonio Gibson was pretty good on the ground. Nah, uh, Terry McLaurin had a big game. Their offense, though, I gotta give a plus. They had a phenomenal game. Like, just, it, no, I wouldn't say it was phenomenal. It was just really well played. Didn't really make any mistakes in my book because they were pretty darn good. Defensively, they weren't great. They had a sack. I give them an underscore, though. Two high safeties. They did play a lot of two high safeties. Double McCaffrey. They didn't really do that well. And they did make Cam throw, but he didn't have to throw deep. That's why they gave 21 points. Their defense came through in the end, though. That's why I gave them the underscore. Cam, 21 of 27, 189, two touchdowns. Just really conservative, nothing more than that. Cam ran the ball 10 for 46 and a touchdown. Uh, uh, McCaffrey ran 10 for 59. Uh, McCaffrey led the team in catches and yards. Uh, I gotta admit, it just was a really conservative game. Uh, they didn't give any carries to Chuba Hubbard. Like, no deep shots to, uh, Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore. I'll give them an underscore. Their offense was okay. Uh, Cam was decent, but they just gotta take more deep shots next game. That's all I have to say about that. They gotta take some shots. The, the defense is just gonna come up. They don't, can't do that. Three sacks by the defense. They weren't good. I got to admit. They did not put Gilmore and McLaurin. They haven't finished that. Figure that out yet. Really don't know why. But in the end, like, they ended up losing. Their offense gets a, their defense gets a minus. They just, I don't, they just had a really bad game plan. It wasn't exactly the players, but it wasn't a good game for their defense. Next game. Uh, Titan, Texans, Titans, uh, this game <laughs> was an upset. <laughs> Texans come out with a 22-13 win in Tennessee. The best team in the NFL finally loses a game after winning six straight. They fall to eight and three. Texans go to two and eight. Tyrod Taylor did not throw the ball. 14 of 24, 107. They ran the ball, and it just wasn't great. Their offense wasn't good. They weren't bad. They just weren't good. Uh, Brandon Cooks got triple teamed. Uh, their offense, not gonna lie, they were pretty bad, but they did score in the red zone, so I will give them an underscore. But one of the game is the fact that their defense knew what the Titans' weakness was. Throwing the football. They had three picks, four picks, two sacks, 
They were really good. And it wasn't just that, but they executed. It wasn't like they were amazing. Like, they did blow some coverage, but they did, were really good. They get a plus. That's the reason they won the game. It's not because the Texans offense was any good. When you get four picks, you're going to score some points. Titans, like Ryan Tannehill, that's his worst career game. Four interceptions. Yeah, 35, 52, 323 touchdown four picks. A lot of that was in garbage time. They, only ran, they didn't even really run the ball that much. It wasn't the fact that it was just a bad game. AJ Brown got tripled. Sometimes it was kind of crazy. Desmond Patrick had a touchdown. Their defense, well, their offense was just putrid, if you ask me. You, It's just, Ryan Tannehill struggled. They couldn't, they didn't run the ball at all. Just really bad execution. Uh, Mike Mike Rabel, just, I don't even know what to say. That was just awful. Their defense, they, they weren't bad. I'll give them an underscore. But they weren't good enough for them to win. They could have played better. That's all I have to say. Could have played better. Not much better, but they could have played better. Okay, next game, Niners, Jack. I really don't want to talk about this, but I'm going to have to. This game was just a straight-up blowout from the start. It was awful. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, 16 of 22, 176, two touchdowns. Uh, they ran the ball uh, a lot. <laughs> Other than maybe Debo Samuel, no one really ran the ball well. Uh, Brandon Ayuk had his best game of the season. George Kittle got tripled. He had still had a touchdown. Run the ball efficiently. I mean, they did it somewhat good. Throw to Debo, Brandon Ayuk. Ayuk I guess I'll give them a plus. They scored 30 points. That's, like, really good for the Niners, so, yeah. Their defense was really good, though. Stop the run. Like, I mean, they did that pretty well. They had three sacks, though. They did pressure to Lawrence. Four turnovers. They actually had a fumble recovery, but I wouldn't say they were great. Their defense, I'll give them a plus, though, because they were pretty darn good. It's just they were really limiting yardage. Like, Trevor wasn't good. 16 of 25, 158. 12 for 29, touchdown for James Robinson. They couldn't really move the ball. That was a problem. They get a minus. Uh, um, but Jags uh, defense stopped their own play aggressive on long downs. They were not aggressive on long downs. They played to lose. They had a sack. Like, the Jags just had a stinker. They had two sacks. But they get a minus. They just weren't good. Niners were just better. That's all I have to say. It's hard to win those games. Let me put it that way. If you're the Jags, it's hard to win those games. Either way, next game. Uh, Dolphins, Jets. This game was a clunker from the start. I'm joking. It was actually a pretty good game. Uh, Joe Flacco and the Jets fought a 2-8. Uh, the Dolphins are now 4-7. 24-17 was your final. Uh, Tua, not going to lie. He was really bad in the, in the second quarter. Like, really bad. He threw a bad interception. But he bounced back in the second half. 27 of 33, 273, two touchdowns pick. That's what I want to see him do. A really big bounce back. He did that. He threw the good ball efficiently down to the field. That was really good. This threw a bad pick. Miles Gaskin, not efficient, but 23 of 89. He had pretty much an average game. Um, Matt Collins, two for 72 touchdown. He had one big catch. That's about it. Jalen Waddle consistently gets open and gets catches. Same thing with Mike Asicki for a tight end. But the Dolphins obviously had run the ball in play action, 20-plus points. They did that. They get a plus. Yeah, they weren't perfect, but they did their job. Their defense, they were okay. They had two sacks. They really did get roasted a lot by Joe Flacco. I will, I'll give them an underscore. Like, they did have some big plays to end the game. But they weren't, like, consistent or good the whole game by any means. But they, they, did, they definitely got the job done. Jets offense, 24, uh, 39, 291, two touchdowns for Joe Flacco. They only ran the ball, let's see, 14, 15, 16, 18 times. You're not going to win ball games if you do that. Elijah Moore had a big game. James Crowder is a bad slot receiver. Uh, run the ball officially, no turnovers. They did that. I'll give them a, I'll give them an underscore. They just didn't score enough. They were pretty inconsistent, so I have to give them that. But other than that, I think they were good. Uh, the defense got a pick. They weren't just, they were just really getting, like, it just felt like they were getting burned a lot. I'll give them an underscore, though, because they did have a huge pick to end this uh, first half. That's the reason the Jets, this game was even close. But, I will, the Jets played okay. They didn't play good, but they played okay. Next game. Eagles, uh, Saints, the Eagles score 40 on the Saints. Uh. 40 to 29 the final. Uh Saints lose their third straight, go to five and five. Eagles win their second straight, go to five and six. 
Uh, Trevor Simeon, look at those numbers. You might think they're good. He was awful. Really bad. Not good in the first half. Second half, he did score four garbage time touchdowns. So I guess that counts for something. But they were not good. Mark Ingram, he was a beast. Except he dropped the pass. Um, Pick six by Trevor Simeon. Was ugly. Their offense, I will get, I cannot give up plus by any means. Like, you just look at it, those numbers are, oh, they were pretty good. No, they were awful. Um, They get a minus. They're, like, Trevor Simeon wasn't good. Mark Ingram was pretty good, though. They just didn't run the ball. Trevor Simeon just didn't look good. I have to give their offense a minus. Their defense was bad, too. Three sacks. I got it. They were, they were probably worse than the, the offense. They were really bad. Eagles offense, like, they got the job done, like, Jalen Hurts had three rushing touchdowns. Miles Sanders had a really good game. Uh, like, Jalen Hurts doesn't have to throw the ball. He's 13-24, 147. He's had a good season. He hasn't been great, but he's been good. Dallas Goddard and Devontae Smith had some, de like, not good games, but decent games. Like, run the ball, play action to the corners. They did that pretty well. Uh, I'll get a plus. Their defense, uh, they were elite. Two picks. They just made Trevor Simeon throw the ball, and that's the reason they won the game. They got a plus. Uh, Eagles, yeah, just don't look at the score. Other than the fact that the Saints, yeah, they, they really lost that game back. They were not good. Next game, Bagels, Raiders are getting in the late window. This game was, like, actually entertaining. Other than the fact that the Raiders just can't score anymore, I guess. Bengals offense bounced back with 30 plus points run the wall. Like, I don't even need to say anymore. They were awesome. Joe Burrow was really conservative, but it worked out. Uh, Mixon, yeah, he just got a ton of carries. He, uh, he wasn't great, but he was good enough for them to win. Their offense gets a plus. They scored 32. Their defense, though, they showed up. A set, two sacks and interception. They made some big plays. I'll give them a plus. They only gave 13 points. Waller was not the problem. They stopped the run. Had a good game. Raiders offense, you can't give Josh Jacobs nine carries. I'm sorry. Derek Carr was average, 19-27, 215, a touchdown, a pick. They get a minus. You can't, if you don't run the ball, then you're not going to win. I'm sorry. No team, teams got to realize, you are got to run the football. The defense was awful. No, I'm joking. They weren't that bad. They had three sacks. Um, they did bring a lot of pressure. They had some really big plays, but I wouldn't really say they were bad, but they didn't do enough. I'll give them an underscore because the, I saw them play. They weren't showing me. They, like, they had some big stops. It is 32-13 to your final. Raiders are now 5-5. Five and five. Huge win for the Bengals. They're now 6-4. and four. Uh, Cowboys, <laughs> this is America's Game of the Week. Let's put it this way. The Cowboys' offense is not as good as you think it is. Uh, Chiefs can a huge win, 19-9. Cowboys are now 7-3. and three. Chiefs go to 7-4. and four. They win their third straight. Uh, fourth straight. Dak was not good. 28 of 43, 216, two picks. Partly because the offense wasn't blocking. Other line wasn't blocking. Partly because they couldn't run the ball. Partly because he stunk it up. Uh, they were... Yeah, they did just... They stunk. It wasn't just that, but they were not good. They're, the Cowboys defense, I'm giving them a plus. They did their job. They should have won that game. They had three sacks and interception, and they had a fumble recovery. This pick should not have been a pick, but did really help the Cowboys. They just couldn't cash in. But Mahomes, like, uh, like take away the pick, it wasn't a terrible game. He had a not, did not have a good game. He did have a fumble. The pick was all on Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey was not good. Yeah, I get he had that rushing touchdown, guys, but Travis Kelsey had his worst game of the season. Twenty Mahomes was 23 of 37, 268 to pick. He just felt like he like wasn't comfortable. He wasn't bad. He wasn't good. He was in the middle. He had a fumble. Got to work on that. Tyreek Hill had some big catches on third down. Clyde Edwards Hilaire had a couple big carries for them. Travis Kelsey, like I said, had the game, uh, game starting touchdown. Their offense, I will give an underscore because they did make some big plays to end the game. Uh, but they were not, they, they, they did not play well enough where I'm like, yeah, that was a really good performance.
the defense though. Oh my gosh. Four, five, five sacks. Frank Clark honestly probably was player of the game. Because after that sack, they just got paranoid with him. They actually doubled him towards the end of the game. That's why Chris Jones had three and a half sacks. Legereus near the game uh, clinching pick. Uh, Careers weren't the biggest play of the game. He had a uh, lost uh, CD Lamb in the end zone. But yeah, uh, their defense was awesome. It was really fun to watch. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that I gave the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, I'll give them that play. I get, yeah, but either way, uh, both defenses were great. It's just the fact that the Chiefs' offense wasn't as bad. But the Chiefs defense, man, if they can keep playing like this, oh my goodness. You Chiefs fans, you might want to start getting hyped up. Because this offense, yeah, it's really inconsistent, but they're going to figure themselves out. But that defense is, that yeah, defense was, oh my goodness, really good. Okay, this is the last 425 game. This game was just boring. Ugh. Cardinals uh, go to 9-2. They have the best record in the NFL. Cole McCoy, uh, tail of two tails. You have to put him on the road. He'll be good. Other than that, I really don't know. Uh, Seattle Seahawks are 3-7. and seven. Uh, They're done. They're done. There is no way the Seahawks are winning their last seven games. I'm sorry, Seahawks fans. You might think it, but you're not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cardinals won the game 23-13. Uh, Colt McCoy is outstanding, 35-44, 328, and two touchdowns. Games countered a nice touchdown. They couldn't really run the ball efficiently. Seahawks were pretty good in the red zone, weren't great. Uh, they did not rely on screen. Zach Ertz had a big game. Like, everyone kind of con contributed. They had a good game. Colt McCoy was awesome. Their offense, they get an underscore because they did have trouble running the football. That is something they, against teams like the Bears and the Rams, they won't be able to win. The offense is going to have to be able to run the ball efficiently. They had four sacks. The defense was awesome. They get a plus. They did not give up one big play the whole game. They had four sacks. Speaking of Russ, he was 14 of 26, 207. They didn't run the ball at all. Their offense was just, they were not good. Hold the offense under 20 points. The Seahawks defense weren't wasn't bad, but I can't, I'll give them an underscore. They did stop the run. Because there would have been a problem they weren't going to. So, yeah, uh, the Eagle, the Seahawks, just, they're done. Uh, good season, but, man, it's Cardinals and the Rams for the division. Watch those Niners, though. Wouldn't surprise me if they sneak up and win this thing. Okay, now we'll go to Sunday Night Football Recap. Uh, this thing was a, oh, my God, it was such a good game. Steelers are now 5-4-1. They lose 41-37. Uh, Chargers are now 6-4. But the Chargers were up 27-10 in the fourth quarter. They choked. They blew a, what was it, 17-point lead. Then they came back and won it. <laughs> Big Ben was really good. 28 of 44, 273, two touch three touchdowns. Nine years again, he's had some bad games. This one was another one. But they ended up winning. DeAndre Johnson like, and Chase Claypool, those two guys are beasts. Their offense was awesome. They get a plus. That's the best I've seen the Steelers' offense in the past th two years. Ever since 2018, this offense just felt like it was in from 2018. That's how good it was. Their defense was a stinker, though. It felt like Chargers offense was on, then the defense was on. But they were awful. Like, you can't play that bad and expect to win. They had two sacks, pick, but they got torched. Torched. They got torched. They get a minus. Chargers offense did exactly what I wanted them to do. They were not good in the third quarter. Herbert 30, 41, 280, uh, uh, two, three, nine, 82, three touchdowns pick. Uh, Herbert had 90 yards. By his own. On his own, Justin Herbert had over 400 yards of total offense. As a team, they had over they had 533. This offense woke up. They get a plus. Uh, the defense, like, they came through in the end. Oh, yeah, Mike Williams had it, and Keenan Allen had it. Keenan Allen had the best game of the season. Mike Williams had a good game, too. Uh, they had three sacks. They, I, I'll give them an underscore. They were not... Far from perfect, very far from perfect, but they did come through in the end and they did win the game. Either way, guys, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. That's gonna be in the week, uh, week eleven recap. We got week eleven Monday Night Football recap. Then we got the power rankings. Then we gotta go to Thanksgiving. Either way, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.